So we're told that Mount Everest is 29,029 feet tall. Estimate Mount Everest's height by rewriting it as a number in the form x times 10 to the yth power feet, where x and y are single digit numbers. So let's think about how we would do this. So x and y have to be single digit numbers. So this is, if we were to write in scientific notation, we could write something like, let's see, it would be 2.9029. Is that right? 2.9029 times 10. And actually, let me be careful. Times, I should write like that. Times 10. I'll use this little caret sign. I'm pressing Shift and 6 to get that caret sign. Times 10 to the, and I moved the decimal. Let's see. In order to go from 2 to, in order to go from 2 to 20,000, I have to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. So times 10 to the fourth. So that's what I would do if they were just asking us to write it in scientific notation. But they're not asking us to write in scientific notation. They're saying estimate Mount Everest height by writing it in this form, where x and y are single digit numbers. So as I wrote it right over here, 2.9029 is not a single digit number. 4 is a single digit number, so at least I got the y part right. But I need to write this part, which you know, in this form, this would be the x. I need to write that as a single digit number. And, and the key is that they want me to estimate. So if I were to estimate 2.9029, I would write that as 3. So I'm going to go with 3 times 10 to the fourth. And if I were to expand out 3 times 10 to the fourth, it would be 30,000 feet. So my estimate seems pretty good. So let's check. There we go.